How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. And this video is on my favorite coffee cup. The Yeti coffee cup. And I got a story to tell you about this thing. So uh, I'm going to give you a little close up of this Yeti cup and then tell you my story. The Yeti cup. This is like my favorite cup. And I took this thing absolutely everywhere with me. And I drink coffee, tea, whatever out of this thing. And no matter what anybody says, these cups are good. Uh, this cup right here, I actually uh, had it at work. And I set it on the track of my excavator. And I'll show you a picture of the excavator. And that excavator weighs about 8,000 pounds. So I ran it over, one track went over it. So you could say about 4,000 pounds on top of this thing. And I'm not lying. Uh, I opened this. No, no uh, coffee came out of the cup. And um, I opened it up and drank it. And, and that's, uh, it, it was perfectly fine. Now this lid is very hard to get on and off, but you can still get it on and off. So you can still get it on and off. I just I just tightened it back down on there, just for the video, uh, because what I'm going to do is, as I figured, I seen them cutting coolers in half, and I sure ain't going to cut my new one. Thanks to my son and my daughter-in-law, they went and bought. Uh, me a brand new one for Father's Day and I'd like to tell Brandon and Kayla thank you for the new Yeti cup I do appreciate it so we're gonna take this one over to the bandsaw and see if we can get her cut in half and see what's inside of her okay I have my bandsaw all set up we got our little table mounted on there we're gonna start working this cup right through that bandsaw and we'll see what happens Well, I'm sitting here trying to cut it, and as you can see, I think the way the can is buckled, the way it's smashed, it won't let me cut through it, but I'm going to try to cut through it with a 4-inch grinder next. We're going to get this thing open because I would love to see what's inside of it. Okay, time for the 4-inch grinder. Let's give it a shot now. Get it turned around and get the other side cut now. I think the cup is cut. I think the cup is in half now. Oh yeah. We'll get it on the table here. Okay. I think I thought I should use cut just a little bit, but we're going to leave it attached and we're going to bend it open. There's not really much to this cup, honestly. I'm going to finish cutting that bottom off. Alright, for what's inside the Yeti cup. I always wondered this myself, but I sure wasn't going to cut a perfectly good cup up just to see what's inside. But you can see how this thing is constructed by two layers. Now, you have a layer on the very inside, a layer on the outside. The bottom has three layers, which has this extra protection for the bottom. If you look at the bottom of this cup, it almost looks like a soup can when it's constructed. But that would be how the Yeti cup, the bottom of it, would be constructed. All the way up to the top, and then you have your lid, which is made from plastic. And it has styrofoam. The same stuff that's in a cooler is inside that lid, which is pretty cool. 
makes sense build coolers out why wouldn't it keep the coffee warm crazy thing about this cup I really like this cup this was my favorite cup I took it to work and if for some reason I forgot it in the car or in the garage when I got back to work everything in that cup was still hot unreal how good this thing keeps it hot now when I was cutting it I didn't hear any gas coming out of it or anything but if there would have to be gas in it I didn't know it didn't smell nothing and didn't hear nothing my uh, new Yeti cup thanks to my son and my daughter-in-law uh, we got me a new one so that's a look at the inside of a Yeti cup well I hope you guys enjoyed my little video on the Yeti cup I was always curious about what was on the inside of it so I figured hey it's damaged I might as well cut her up and show you guys too so I'd like to tell everybody thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe leave me thumbs up thumbs down or comment if you'd like Till next time. Oh yeah, don't forget, click the little bell down there so you get them alerts when I post another video.